hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we'll be learning how to make a victorian corset this is the paper i'm going to be using for this tutorial so the first thing i'm going to do is get my shoulder measurement which is my shoulder divided by two and mine is seven inches then i'm going in to take my neck width and my neck depth and i'm going in with three by three inches which is like your standard neck measurement so i'm not going to be using this i'm just trying to draft out my basic bodice so at my shoulder i came down by one inch and i'm going to be connecting that back to my neck to form the shoulder slope the next thing you want to do is get your armhole which is your bust round divided by six plus 1.5 and mine is 7.5 and i'm going in now to make sure that it aligns the distance aligns with my shoulder this is necessary so that your armhole would be on a straight line so you want to go ahead and connect these two dots together which is going to form our armhole and then right there i'm going to draw a line which is going to serve as our chest line then i'm going in now to take my vertical measurements from my shoulder to my bust point 11 inches my under bust point 15 my waist 18 and the length of this top is going to be 22 plus 5 inch allowance 0.5 inch allowance sorry then i'm going ahead to rule lines across my dots to make it more visible and you also want to make sure that these lines extend across your paper because of the different panels we are going to be having for this corset okay so i'm going in now to label my lines my chest line bust points under bust points waist and the length of our top so now we are going to find our armhole curve or we're going to draft out our armhole curve by finding the middle of our armhole right there so right there where the middle of my armhole is i'm going to go in by half an inch and then the next thing is on my chest line i am going to get my bust round divided by four and mark it there and i'm going to be connecting this back to the middle of my armhole and back to my shoulder slope all right so this is our our armhole curve formed then the next thing now is to get our bust pan or our nipple to nipple measurement starting from our bust points down to our under bust our waistline and the length of the top excluding the chest line okay then back to your shoulder you want to find the middle of your shoulder just like so mark it right there and then use a rule to connect a line from that your from the middle of your shoulder back to your bust pan just like this So I went ahead to flip my paper just so I make this more, you know, clear and I really want you guys to understand. So from my chest line, I came up by two inches. Okay. So this is not going to be having a yoke and I am busty. So I really want to be covered. So if you're not so busty, you can come up by 1.5 inches. Then right there where this line is coming down from our shoulder, they're going to come out on both sides by half an inch and then connect these dots back to your bust points, just like so. So now that we have this, we are going to do our underbust tightening and I'm using 0.7 inches for the side going towards the center front, right? My underbust going towards the center front, I came out by 0.7 inches. Then going towards the side, I am going to come out by 1 inch. I'm going to be doing the same for my waist, okay? So you are going to be doing this at your underbust and your waist. So my waist, I just came in by 0.7 inches going towards the center and 1 inch going towards the side then i'm going now to connect these dots together with a straight line so now this is going to help with our under bust and our waist tightening then at your bust point you want to come down by one inch then using a curved rule you are going to be connecting these from your from the place you came down by one inch back to your under bust just like this okay try not to make these too curvy so that it doesn't disturb you when we are stitching it together then at the length of my top going towards the center front i'm going to come out by 0.5 inch then going towards the side i came out by one inch just right there then you want to go ahead and connect your dart lines from your waist down to the length of your top 
so now we have two panels ready and you can see it's already looking beautiful we're going to be getting our third panel okay and to get this you want to go ahead from the first bust pan find your nipple to nipple again okay so if your nipple to nipple measurement is 3.5 from that first bust pan put your tip rule and get another 3.5 i hope you understand so mine is four inches from my first bust pan i measured another four inches towards there and ruled lines across like so then i'm going to be doing my waist tightening so right there on my waist i'm coming out by 0 0.5 inches on both sides Connect the dots going up towards the bust point and down towards the length of your top. Then also at the middle or at the center front, I went in by 0.5 inches on my waist also. You know, this is going to really help me help the waist of this Victorian corset be very snatched this is going to have a sweet heart neckline so from this that line i am going to be curving this towards the chest line and also i'm going to be connecting it with a curved rule towards my armhole to give me that sweet heart neckline so the next thing i'm going to do is find my horizontal measurement and you also want to go ahead and replace these darts that will be taken away just so we don't fall short of fabric all right so i went ahead to do this on my chest line for my underbust now i'm doing this for my waistline i'm also going to be doing this for the length of my top So now guys we are almost done the last thing we're going to do is get our side that so from your bust point you want to come down by two inches it is most two inches most for most people all right then from there you connect it back to your bust point with a slant with a slanted line like so and then we're going to be covering this our side that So what I'm going to do now is go in and shape out this pattern, all right? I'm going to shape out this pattern just so you guys see clearly how I am going to be covering the side that. So what you want to do is go ahead and slash that line coming down from the shoulder down to your bust points right there. Make sure you don't go further than that. And then go ahead and slash the line from the side, the bust points line from the side. And then go ahead and cover that side that. So now our side that is covered, you can see how it looks. Then you will notice that your dart line might shift on that place where you covered your side that just go ahead and adjust it just like i just did then you want to also go ahead and label this you know so that it can help you when you are stitching and also when you are cutting on your fabric so guys you want to pay attention to where i'm cutting and how i'm cutting this just so you don't make mistakes all right and then this victorian corset or this top is going to be having a curve okay going towards the two sides of the top so i am going to be coming up by one inch on one side at the side and i'm going to be connecting it with a curved line towards the center front this is going to make this top have a curve at the two sides so this is basically it for the front pattern you can see the way it looks and the three panels that we have so now the back pattern i've already gone ahead to get my vertical measurements and i'm going in now to label them this is my chest my bust point my under bust point my waist and my and the length of the top so now i'm going in to take my bust pan starting from my chest line down to the length of my top and then i'm going to go ahead and roll a line across there 
so the back pattern is more straightforward okay it's just your basic dart taking so and on our waist we are going to come out by 0 0.5 inches on both sides and then we are going to come down by one inch from the chest line and on the length of the top we are going to come up by one inch then we would go ahead to connect these dots to form the first dart So like we did for the front pattern, we're going to be having three panels also. So from this first bust pan, we're going to be taking out our second bust pan. So just place your tape root from your first bust pan and take out another bust pan, okay? Just like I'm doing on my screen. And then we're going to be connecting these dots with a line. Then go in to take our darts, okay, just like we did for this first one. On our waistline, we'll come out by 0 0.5 inches on both sides. And then from our chest line, we would come by come down by one inch. And on the length of the top, we would go up by one inch. And then we would go ahead to connect these dots together. So as you can see, we have three panels just like we have for the front. And then this is not going to be having a zipper. It's going to be having a loop at the back. And I want it to have a V shape. So on the chest line, I went in by three inches. And on the length of the top, I would go in by two inches. Okay. So the more you go in, the wider the space at the back is. So this three inches I went in by on my chest line is so is six inches when you spread it out okay so you want to know by how many inches you want to go in then now i'm going in to take my round measurements and also taking notes of the darts and adding my stitching allowance then just like we did for the front pattern this is also going to be having a curve to match up with the front pattern so i went in by i went up by one inch from the side and using a curved rule i connected it back to the center front and for the neck of this back pattern i wanted it to have a curve so from the armhole i drew a curve going towards the center front just to give it a curve on the neck line then now i'm going ahead to trace this out you want to look carefully at how i am tracing this out just so you don't make mistakes Then you also want to go ahead and label your panels you can never go wrong with labeling your panels is going to be very helpful when you are cutting on your fabric and also when you are stitching everything together so guys this is basically it for this tutorial i hope it was straightforward enough and i hope you understood you don't want to miss the sewing tutorial that i'm going to be posting on very soon i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching bye